All right, guys. So today we're going to be spending, I think, about $600 on CTR manipulation software. And I'll be doing it all in public and uh, displaying it for you guys, the results for you guys to see if it works. And $600 down the drain for absolutely no reason. But all I ask for you is to comment CTR manipulation software or CTR manipulation for the YouTube algorithm. That's all I ask for you. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And here we go. Guys, Nusa is incredible. Um, very quiet. I actually ref prefer this over the Gold Coast. Here we go. All right, let's go. All right, so yesterday we did $10,500. That's down $100 from the day before. Amazon at $59.50, Mediavine at $32.29, FanFuel and Cell Health at $220, and OnlyFans at a whopping $1,143. Pretty good day. Um, <clears throat> Amazon was supposed to pop yesterday, and it didn't. I will dig a bit more into details today, and uh, we'll let you guys know how I get on. Um, but yeah, let's check out the numbers. All right, so historically speaking, Sunday was supposed to be our best day. If you see um, the past Sundays, uh, previous Sunday, I think we were at, yeah, 134K in order revenue, which is pretty close to all time highs. I think it was all time highs actually. And uh, yesterday was uh, 110.2K. Multiply that by 54 and that's how we get to our number four or estimated revenue from Amazon. Levanta luckily came in clutch and kind of saved the day at 982. Um, slight drops, but I'm, I'm okay with these. <clears throat> you know, it's all, not always gonna be a up chart, but um, Bitcoin's at 50K, so pretty sick. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the CTR software. All right, quick call out guys. We are on episode 99 today, um, almost at 100. But our subscriber is nowhere near that. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you're watching. Why not? Just log in and subscribe, all right? Um, number two plug is revive.so launch. <clears throat> Direct link, by the way, in only available in this sheet. So pretty much what you have to do is you have to sign up for the first link in the description. Go get our show notes. Go to episode 99. And um, pretty much you get 50% off lifetime. This is... For the first 50 customers, once we run out, it's gone. All right, don't don't ask us for more. Um, and if you're wondering what the pitch for reviveS.so is, um, everyone knows that if you republish an article and change it to the most recent date, it's a ranking factor, all right? But that's against Google TOS. They want us to be actually re, um, re, like changing something in the article. And it's very easy to track you know, just republishing it. So I've typically uh, <clears throat> recommended Revive Press to be installed on every site, but I wanted to do something better because Revive Press was something that would get clapped by Google in the near future. So what we did was we rebuilt something similar to Revive Press, but instead of just republishing, like just changing the publish date to the most recent date, we're using OpenAI to rewrite the first article or the first paragraph in the article. And, um, yeah, it's working fucking crazy well. Um, and I think most of the time, if you get clapped by Google algorithm, <clears throat> the best thing to do is to stay on your hands and not to kind of tinker with too many things. Um, maybe try to improve your eat um, and not hire any recovery experts. Um, typically, I like to recommend people just change the design of your site and revive press and chill. But now that we have revive.so, this is what I'll be recommending. All right, um, that's a quick plug. And um, anyways, here's the setup for the CTR manipulation software I'll be using. Um, I forgot to add manipulation in here, but uh, I'll be using SERP clicks. I'll be using agency assassin and CTRFI. And uh, here's the pricing that I'll be planning on testing. Agency assassin is fucking expensive, but I think it's for local SEO. Hence why I signed uh agency assassin to movement room pr.ca which is like the um the local seo case study i'm doing for my friend's site 
And I've assigned SERP clicks to my Outlook India post for Best Physiotherapist Vancouver, which is currently ranked to number 28. And finally, I have my exact match domain, number 16, uh, physioeastvancouver.com, and I'll be targeting Physio East Vancouver. And the reason that I picked these is because, you know, they're not on the front page. I already have one of the rank and rents at the front page, so I won't be testing that. But... Uh, yeah, that that'll be the setup. What do you guys think? Um, <clears throat> oh, let me delete this. It's not. Uh, which one do you think will do the best? I think Agency Assassin has a local. It has a local option, I believe. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'll buy them all today, and I'll give you guys an update in a month or so. But yeah, um, if you guys watched up to here, please comment CTR manipulation for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, I'll spend the next couple minutes answering your questions. What's going on? Um, thanks for the comment. Thanks for the comment on Fiverr SEO. Uh, DR manipulation for the algo is kind of weird. Um, Elevik just stole this guy's comment. Uh, if you were starting an SEO agency from scratch, how would you set your prices? Suppose I charge flat fee plus charge per lead. What are some reasonable amounts to charge for the both the flat fee and each lead? Um, depends on the industry. People often ask me this and... It's not something I can answer because I don't know your skill level, how easy it is for you to rank. Some people can rank with like zero dollars spent. So I need more context. And um, yeah, for example, our agency, we don't take any clients under 5K a month retainer because it's just not worth our time. And even if it's easy, you know, but I don't know what your current financial situation is. You have a hair salon website in a competitive city. What are the first three biggest things you do? Uh, I already did this before. I think I did a local SEO case. I, there's a couple of growth hacks I added in, in there as well. Number one would be to add the keyword into the Google business title. Number two would be to buy citations. And number three, finally, would be to get more reviews. That's it. Pretty easy. Thanks for the comment. Fiverr SEO update. My rank and rent placed on top three. Top of page three will get citations done and see what happens. Great. Digital Shane, I'm sure your mic audio issue was CPU overload. Oh, thanks. Truly inspired by this series, been implementing the stuff learned from my local for my local as SEO agency I have just set up in England. Need to get on that content grind myself. Keep up the good work, Jackie. Sounds good. Thanks, man. J Rob, thanks for the comment. I started watching Jackie during episode 37. I immediately realize the amount of knowledge he is sharing every day FOMO was strong so i watched every single video from this from this, starting from episode one for sure the best seo channel thanks um question regarding rank and rent for local services do you build a landing page website or do you build an entire website with a couple multiple pages if you build an entire websites uh, entire website can you give an example of what pages should we have for rank and rent local service websites what should we focus on um, I so far only created one page and it ranked already. So, um, what would I do for local services? What pages, um, about page, contact page for sure. Blogs if you want, and, uh, maybe the services you provide as each page. I hope that answers your question. Here's the comment. Claver Digital says, agency are going to hate you for this one. Yeah, sorry, guys. Um, well, they should have better, stricter rules around their metrics that they take for links. Frank, coming in hot. Thank you. Do these DR manipulated sites actually work as backlinks or is it just to fool the backlink agencies? It's just to fool the backlink agencies, as Nanad writes. He said, backlinks will not bring any significant change in traffic or rankings whatsoever. Well, would these, uh, I mean, I would argue that any backlinks is better than no backlinks, right? So would it bring a change? Yes, but not significant. I hope that is clear. 12 fan, what's going on? For your partnerships and the products on Amazon Levanta, do you give each product a different source ID? Not sure if you can categorize them or each partnership a different one. I assume the latter. Uh, I think each partnership a different one. Do you do the blog posts as a rule only go in one category or is it okay 
there are multiple. Um, I only do one category, but um, I'm sure if you have two, it's fine. Thanks for the comments, guys. Narav, what's going on? Yeah, I will be doing the CTR in public. Thank you. Jackie, long time follower since episode 15, but first time commenter. Great. I'm building a SaaS app right now. What's the best way to build a SaaS's SEO from a fresh domain, maybe three months old? Does it differ much from WordPress pages or standard SEO? Um, I think SaaS SEO, it's a tough one. I wouldn't even recommend focusing on SEO for SaaS. Like if I were to be told to build the MRR of a SaaS product, I wouldn't even do SEO. I would just try to build it in public and get clients that way. Hope that answers the question. Guys, um, that's it for today. Got to run. I have another call in an hour. So the call in an hour is actually for the advice community. It's like, I think a website roast, a site roast plus uh, like an AMA for that. So if you guys want to get involved, literally sign up right now for the advice community with the link down in the description. And um, yeah, you can hop on and join. So I'll chat with you guys tomorrow. And remember to comment CTR manipulation for the YouTube algorithm. See you guys.